Welcome, I'm from the Xiaomi Poco X3 Pro and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification on this device. So, as you can see, phone right here, uh, the one that I have is locked and I cannot lock it using the Google account or if I back out and go back, uh, it will give me also an option of a pattern. So, assuming we don't know either of those, what you want to do is number one, connect to Wi-Fi. So if I back out a little bit, you should see it. There we go, we have connection right here. So make sure you connect, and once you do, uh, if it takes you a step further, basically, like if, when you connect, I don't, I don't remember if it goes further or not. So if it does, backtrack to the Wi-Fi, and what you wanna do is scroll down and select Add Network, and then in the SSID, type in youtube.com. like so select it and this will bring up a couple options so basically you hold it and it gets selected and gives you these options so now we want to tap on this uh, chain link uh, icon i guess it's probably the best way to describe it it's the share button so once you tap on it it will take you to youtube so from here tap on the account which is you just seen this little thing in the corner and from here, what you want to do is tap on settings, then right at the bottom about, and then YouTube terms of service. And we're going to select the Mi browser right here. So let's just tap on it. And this opens up the Mi browser. Now from here, simply tap on skip uh, and more and accept. And oops. Okay, there we go. And this regard that pop up uh, for setting it as default. So once you see the web browser, you want to navigate into the hardreset.info website. So it's gonna be exactly hardreset.info slash bypass. Now, if you need a moment to write this down, this address, then pause the video. So, from the website, right here, you should see a bunch of different applications. Um, after you click on consent, there we go. So we have the uh, Galaxy Store, uh, Google Search, and Settings. Now we're only interested in the last one, which is the Settings right here. Once you tap on it, it simply opens up the uh, phone's settings. And from here, what you want to do is scroll down to Special Features, select Second Space, Turn on second space. Now, once it loads up, normally I believe this should look a little bit differently, but let me just quickly check. Um, I don't think we're even in the second space. So anyway, um, from here, uh, we're gonna go into the settings, scroll down to Additional settings, I believe. Or not. So let's go back. Just gonna search for it. Right now I'm trying to figure out if I'm in a second space or not because I can't seem to find the reset option. So I'm just gonna go back to the additional settings and, or special features right here and tap on the second space once more. Create successfully. Okay, continue. Okay, so that's kind of what we were supposed to be seeing before. So it might have been that the phone just glitched out uh, as you've seen it opened up home screen which normally shouldn't happen uh, even in the bypass uh, 
portion so if it opens up home screen for you as well for some reason then go back to the settings special features and go back to basically where we were and continue adding the second space now from here uh, switch between spaces you want to select uh, the uh, using a shortcut and then tap on continue and let's see So for setting password, we're not gonna be setting any. And there we go, that is actually the second space, which is what we were looking for. So as you can see, the space right here uh, can well, did, did differ or is different, uh, depending how you wanna look at it. So uh, the background for second space, always when you set it up, will be just a static um, single color. For, for this device, it's just blue. As you can see, while the previous one, uh, the one that somehow we glitched into uh, had just a normal wallpaper as the device should have. So once you see uh, the second space, uh, which is just a static color right here as a wallpaper, what you want to do is hold the power key and select reboot. So as you, as you see, once you unlock the device, it will straight up open the home screen, skipping the setup screen. So from here you want to go into the settings, then I believe update, backup and reset, or oh, not reset, restore, uh, so we're looking for the factory reset, there we go. So below that, factory reset, and then erase all data, uh, factory reset. Now we do need to wait 20 seconds, so 10 seconds here and 10 seconds on the next page. Once you tap on OK, it will automatically begin the reset. So this will take approximately a couple minutes, maybe two minutes or so. And once it's finished, we will be back in the setup screen, but at that point, the device will be fully unlocked. So I'll be back once well, we can see the setup screen. Okay, so as you can see, the process has now finished and we're back in the setup screen. So I'm gonna go through the setup once more. Now at this point, you can set up your device as however you like. So you can skip Wi-Fi connection or connect to one if you want to add Google accounts and do basically anything that you would do with a brand new device that is well, fully unlocked. And there we go. And there we go. So as you can see, we're now on the home screen with the device fully unlocked. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.